I just play the video lah. Hi everyone, my name is Patrin. Nice to see you again. Today I'll be answering 50 questions from Midwan. What chore do you absolutely hate doing? The chore that I would absolutely hate would be to wash the toilet. I don't wash the toilet at home, but I know that I wouldn't like it. <laughs> well, why would you not like it when you haven't even tried it? How about you try it? I tried it before. I didn't really like it. That sounds sound like very pampered, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favourite mode of transportation? My least favourite mode of transportation would be to go on a boat. When the sea water is like, very choppy, I get seasickness and it makes me very nauseous. So I don't like it when I'm on a boat. Sadly, because I love the ocean. <laughs> What's your favourite body part? My eyes! When people first look at you, what do they look at you for? Your eyes, right? So I think my eyes is the best body part. What sound do you love? The sound of the ocean waves. It keeps me very calm. And peaceful. But I thought just now you said the ocean makes you seasick. Yeah, but when I'm on the boat, if the boat is very unstable, then I get seasick. But if the boat is stable, and I never enjoy my boat ride. I like to go up and look at the ocean, the waves. I like scenery stuff. So you'll be seasick in a very calm way? In some sense. But not all boat rides makes you seasick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like when I went Ha Long Bay in Vietnam, I went on a cruise, three days, two nights cruise, and then it was very peaceful and quiet. Like I was in my room, in a suite, and then I just get to enjoy the breeze, and the rocks, and the ocean, and the sound of the waves. Wow, it was really good. If you could throw any kind of party, what would it be like? What would it be for? If I can throw a party, I think I would want to throw a beach party. Because I haven't been to a proper beach club. Yeah, I want to do that in Bali or like in, in somewhere really nice. Like I say, I like oceans and everything like that. So yeah, it will be a perfect party. Must there be a reason to party? Don't have to. Just enjoy. If you could paint a picture of any scenery you've seen before, what would you paint? Oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> you already know Please what Please don't tell me the sea. <laughs> Okay, I will not say the sea, but I would say sunset colours. Like if, if I have to paint, I would really enjoy painting the different orangey pink tones of sunset. The sunset which is at the sea. That's right. If you could witness any event, past, present or future at this point, what would it be? I want to go back to the time in China when there's like the king, the queen and the concubine. You know, I see a lot of those drama series and I want to see that in action. And in Korea, there's a lot of those traditional old like movies and drama shows, right? I want to go there and see how it really works. If you had work on one project for the next year, what would it be? One of my goals in 2022 would be to expand my brand, which I launched last year called Predator Triggers. Basically, it's a brand where I sell meaningful jewellery that comes in the form of daily reminders for you and myself. Like today, I'm wearing bravery. So for next year, I hope to expand the brand to collaborate with bigger players in the market to promote mental wellness, social wellness among my consumers and the people around me. That will be a project that I will hope to achieve and to work towards. If you would have to change your first name, what would it be? I actually like my name a lot. I like your name too, but if you had to change your name... What would you change my name to? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't want to repeat my joke. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a good name? I will call you... Mine. <laughs> Did he use the same pickup line? No, no. I will call you Mine. Of course he did. <sighs> okay, next. <laughs> so if it's not Patrine, it will be? So hard. I don't know. Patrina. There you go. No. What? That's not nice. <laughs> but I like the name Venus. Venus? Yeah. As in the planet? Yeah. I have a friend called Venus and I think that's a very cool name. Venus is the planet of love. Ah. Yeah. Such a romantic name, yeah. Maybe something along that line. Because my name, Patrine, doesn't stand for any meaning. It's just me. I'm the meaning. Yeah. Venus is a planet of love. Yeah. When you say Venus, I thought of Venus flytrap. Oh my god, you're so not romantic. I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Help. <laughs> if you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? I will treat my family to a nice place and I'll give them some money. That would be the first thing I would think of if I win something. Then after that, you will bring me out for dinner, right? 
Of course. Okay, good. Luckily, I almost wanted to stop rolling the camera. So, <laughs> if you would be reincarnated as an animal or a drink or an ice cream flavor, what would it be? I want to be a phoenix. Phoenix. I want to be one of those like mystical creatures. If it even exists before. Or maybe I want to be a dinosaur. What dinosaur? What's the dinosaur called? The one, the... Oh, there's an ankylosaurus, the Diplodocus, the Stegosaurus, what, Trinosaurus, Rex, right? what, what, what? I don't know what dinosaur, any dinosaur can be. How does it look like? But it has to be the big and majestic one, so that I conquer the world. Conquer the world. Conquer the world. Conquer the world. You, know? you look like an ankylosaurus. Don't want. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna put your head on the dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm already grown up. <laughs> I'm still working towards my dreams and goals in life. So stay tuned, follow me on Instagram, and you will find out more about what I will do for the rest of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? The hardest thing that I've done and I have not overcome would be to overcome self-doubt. It's so hard, but I'm trying my best every day to live for myself. If you would have a question to ask Ridwan right now, what would it be? Why me? Self-doubt. See, I told you self-doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what kind of question? That's your first question. That no okay, one, yeah, yeah. You still have self-doubt. Yeah, how? Why me? Why not? What is your most painful moment in your life? Can I say like my menses cramps? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my most painful moment. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, like one of the most like, I wouldn't say painful, but one of the lessons that I learned deeply was when I didn't do well for my PSLE. That was a painful lesson learned. And from then on, I really study like very hard. I was a very good student in school, basically in my secondary school, because I don't want to repeat the same mistake of not studying hard. That was quite painful. What? It's your most embarrassing moment. I have a lot of embarrassing moments in my life, but one of which was, you know, you have crushes in your life, right? So there was this one time in primary school, I was walking steadily, and there's this crush that I kind of woohoo in front of me, and I walk, 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 then I <coughs> in front of him. And then from then on, I, I didn't even look at him. And whenever I see him, I just shun away, because I fall flat on my face. Like, <coughs> So we have come to the end of the video. Do you have anything to say to the audience? Follow me and Pretty Little Triggers Instagram and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!